Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. Meet the Boomerang Beaver, our self-absorbed anti-hero. Picture this, you're going through a hard time, you've just had a rough day at work, and there you are, sharing your story. The beaver, however, in all their spotlight-hugging glory, turns the conversation faster than a magician pulls a rabbit out of a hat. Oh, you think your day was bad? Let me tell you about mine. Their need to constantly take the limelight is like a person at a buffet who keeps returning for more, not considering if others have had a plateful. It's as subtle as a sneeze during a moment of silence. It's about as appealing as finding a hair in your soup. This behavior is rooted in a psychological need for validation or a sense of insecurity. It's a misguided attempt to relate or contribute, ending up as irritating as a popcorn kernel stuck in your teeth. But what if the boomerang beaver became the attentive alpaca? The alpaca that lets you spill your heart out and says, I'm here for you. It sounds like you had a tough day. Let's talk about it. The alpaca that gives you the stage when you need it, spotlight and all. Imagine if you run into a boomerang beaver, instead of getting frustrated, be a guiding gorilla. In a kind and firm manner, you say, I appreciate your story, but right now, I could really use your attention and support. Can we focus on what I'm dealing with so? Let's toast to all the attentive alpacas out there, showing empathy with grace. And for our boomerang beavers, remember conversations are like seesaws, they need balance. Let's stop the boomeranging and learn to be more attentive. Who knows, you might actually catch more interesting details when you let someone else do the talking.